Today we're going to make an electronic matching game and this makes a perfect Christmas gift for a young person. Now what you'll need is a folder of some sort. We have a manila folder. It can be any kind of folder. And what we'll need is a sheet of paper and you'll take a sheet of paper ordinary 8.5 by 11 sheet. It can be uh, colored if you'd like. And we're going to cut that in two strips lengthwise. And then what we're going to do is punch six evenly spaced holes in each side of those strips. You can use a ruler to measure those. And if you get a better paper punch, of course, the holes will cut right out. Once you have your holes punched, you should have two strips that look like this. And we're going to put them one on each side of the opened folder. Now the idea is to write some questions or some things to match on this side with the answers or other things to match on this side. You could have math problems here and answers here. Or for a young child you could have pictures of say a dump truck and a boat and a car and the same pictures over here and the child would have to match them up. And then what we'll be doing is running strips of aluminum foil from the dots of the items that match or from the problem to the actual solution. So today we're going to do a math one and we're going to do multiplication. So on this side I'm going to write uh, some multiplication problems. And on this side I'll write the answers in mixed up order. Next we're going to make foil strips that line up with the problem and the answer. And line those up with the holes that go to the problem and the answer. And you want to make your foil strip a little bit thick, not just one layer. And wide enough to be under the hole, but not too, too wide, not so wide that it goes under one of the other holes. And now we'll temporarily tape our problems and answers in position in the folder. And then we'll be, be able to line up our foil. So to do that, we'll just slip it under. Make sure the foil shows through the hole. And now we're want to, going to want to completely cover that foil with masking tape. And this is how you want your foil strip. You want to cover it with masking tape but not where it reaches the punched hole to the question and the answer to your problem. So you'll tape all of it in the middle like so, except for the very ends. Now we'll take our next strip and we'll do the same with that. So let's connect that with our 2 times 6 problem. And our answer over here, which is 12. Make sure the ends show through. And we'll take our masking tape and once again Tape over everything. Okay, and once you're finished, should look, the game should look something like this. We're almost finished anyway. The foil ends completely taped over here 
because you want to make complete circuits to the correct answer. If you leave a foil uncovered here, then one strip of foil will touch another strip of foil and you'll have multiple correct answers on the other side, which is not what you want. So now what we'll do, we'll take our strips of paper with the questions and answers and we'll glue them down with a glue stick and then we'll take another sheet of paper and glue that on the middle, our glue stick, so our gift recipient will not be able to see which way the answers connect. Okay, we're applying our glue stick. <coughs> That right there, making sure holes will line up in the proper spots. And then we'll do the other one. And we'll glue our final piece of paper in place. And once you're done, you can uh, put a nice photo or, or a picture off your computer inside and it folds up neatly. And you can also do the same on the front. The next thing you'll need is a simple circuit board, uh, which you can construct out of simple materials. Uh, for directions on how to make a, a circuit board, you can look under the, des the description of this video on YouTube. And now we'll test our circuit board. We have a bulb. You can also use a small buzzer if you like and connect that to it. But we're going to use a bulb so, so we can see. So you take one end of your, uh, one wire of your circuit board, and let's say we want to know what 5 times 7 is. And so our guess is, it must be 35. And the light lights up. But see, the light won't light up on any of the incorrect answers. And now we'll do 8 times 9. So we'll touch the end of the paper clip there, which we've attached to the ends of the wires for ease of use, and 8 times 9 must be 72. Is it? Or is it not? It is! You can make as many matching games as you wish to go with your circuit board. This circuit board features a switch. You can choose between a bulb lighting or a buzzer buzzing when you get the correct answers. For directions on how to make this particular circuit board, look at the description on this YouTube video.